cost him two minutes. And Ian Donaldson has leapt from ninth to fifth. There are many unusual sights in West Cork. Richard Atkinson's Davrian and Tony Warswick's Ferrari. But back at the head of the field, everyone is marvelling at the pace of Maher in the Ford RS1800, the car previously owned by Richie Healy, which has won this event for the past two years. Only AJ Keating is able to stay on terms with the young man from County Tipperary, and youth is very much to the fore as they pull ahead of the more experienced crews. The other Keating in his XRE Vatnan Escort has recovered to fifth. And despite the rain, the spectators are loving every moment of it. And then come more heroes. Martin Daly, who leads the modified two-litre class in his Escort, going quickly enough to totally confound one onlooker who seems to think that he's passed himself coming back. Jimmy Dean, navigated by his brother, doesn't deter the foolhardy in his two-litre Escort. And as always, the pace has taken its toll. With only nine of the 20 stages completed in the Zanussi West Cork Rally, we have already lost Richie Healy, Bob Folk, John Price, Mal Stewart, and Keith Edwards. But that glorious Ferrari will make it into the top 10 before the end of the day. Where is the handbrake on a Ferrari? Fourth man Billy Connolly is sounding a bit rough at this stage, and he has slipped behind Donny Keating. Back in Clonakilty, Frank Maher finishes a thoroughly satisfactory day's work with a 51 second lead over AJ Keating. The beautiful 308 GTB is still in one piece, so we have to wait for Noel Coffey from Dungarvan to provide the entertainment. As Noel hobbles over the horizon, we see that he was lucky to get away with so little damage from this particularly nasty incident. Love stories begin in Plomacuti, and the weather, like the romance, takes a turn for the better on day two. But Frank isn't getting carried away by his success. Age is pushing very hard, um, unexpectedly. And Donny Keaton there in third place is going to have a go at it too, I'd say. So a puncture could do anything. AJ is ready for the attack, aware that the gap is not unsurmountable. Uh, 51 seconds. We were about seven, I think, at the, the interval yesterday. And I think I fell asleep in two stages, which has cost me dearly. But I uh, hope to make up for it today. Well, I think today will suit the car a lot better. I mean, the car's are basically a very good tarmac racer. So, you know, we could, depending on the, how things go, the conditions of the roads, it should be a lot better today for the car. Competitors have checked out of this hotel some time ago. And with sunshine and dry roads ahead, can that famous Ford Escort and its astonishing young driver stay ahead of the more modern opposition? Stage 12 brings us along the shores of picturesque Clonakilty Bay, and Maher dashes the opposition's hopes by now setting the fastest times on dry roads.
As Kelly and the Sunbeam and the Dean brothers and their escort entertain us on stage 13, we learn that Tony Keating has slipped ahead of John Coyne into third place. Coyne's Manta has had many problems, the main one being engine timing. But for Frank Maher, it is a virtuoso performance. The 23-year-old has not made an error, and if this young man can get some form of financial help, he will surely be a Coleman of the future. A.J. Keating has given his all, but he can't close that gap, which has now stretched to 1 minute 13 seconds. Tony Keating, who is absolutely on the ragged edge, will never make up for the penalty of that puncture on the very first stage. And Jimmy Lucy, insists that it is a left-hander coming up. With the cars constantly getting this kind of pounding, they must surely visit the car ambulance sooner or later. A novel way to use up an old vehicle. And so on to something completely different. Two laps of the hot rod track on the outskirts of Cork City. And John Coyne is in third place there. And there's AJ Keating. But John is really getting up there. He's getting up there and he's really throwing that car around the hot rod. Richard Moore from Weatherby in Yorkshire. Number 30, that's Luke McCarthy. He's had a very good rally. <laughs> The late afternoon sunshine has brought the crowds out to salute Ireland's new rally stars, Frank Maher and Trevor Hughes, and of course that extraordinary Ford Escort, 2223IW, which is heading for its third Zanussi win. For AJ Keating and Fergus Connolly, the thrills aren't over yet as they head for second place. Tony Keating and Jimmy Lucy's climb back to third has always been spectacular. John Coyne and Robbie Philpott in fourth place. And Ian Donaldson and Richard Taylor fifth in the Metro. And then two new names, Luke McCarthy and Donald Quinlan, an excellent sixth in the Chevette. And Maher, victory for him, it's just a twitch. Well, it changed a bit in the afternoon, and just got a bit wet, and um, we went fairly hard, but we didn't overdo it. And were you under any pressure at any time? None whatsoever. So in the Zanussi West Cork Rally, Frank Maher takes his first international win for Ford. AJ Keating is second in the Opal, and in third place, Tony Keating in his RS1800.